Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be sharing all of my tips on how to host a family-friendly Christmas party. Our party turned out amazing. Everyone had so much fun from the kids to the adults. So I can't wait to share all the behind the scenes of how we made this happen. This is going to be over a period of two days that I'm filming. So I wanna show you some prep that I did before and then some prep I did the day of. So this is the day before and here is my list of things to do. I've been prepping for this party for a couple weeks. Little things here and there, but these are the two days that really count. So first thing I'm gonna do this morning is start working on some of the food and drink items. I love being able to prep as much as possible the day before a big event like this because the day of, there's so much to do, it's really chaotic. So this is our holiday spiked punch that we're gonna make on the left, and then on the right we have our no-bake strawberry cheesecake parfaits. This is what the Christmas punch looks like. It's so yummy, I've made it before. So we're gonna get started on these things, put them in the fridge so they're nice and chilled for tomorrow. This is one of those items that's actually better to make the day before. And then tomorrow I'll add the Sprite, the alcohol, and some fruit so that that's nice and fresh. And here is how the holiday punch looks once you're done. This is going to be filled to the top once I add the Sprite, alcohol, and fruit. So don't worry, this jug will be completely full. And now I can move on to our strawberry cheesecake parfaits. I'm gonna assemble these fully and just put them in the fridge because they take a little bit of time. I love using these mini cups for desserts. I've used them for plenty of parties before and they are disposable, but they come in a huge pack and they come with these little spoons too. I'll link everything that I'm using in the description box below. A lot of these things are pretty inexpensive and I love it because I, I'll buy things in bulk because I know I'm gonna use them for future parties as well. It has been a busy morning, but Jetty is now awake. And if you saw my last video, we have been doing this fun toddler Christmas tradition with him called Santa's Mailbox. And every morning, Santa brings him a treat. So usually, once he wakes up, he will run to the living room and check to see what Santa brought him. Don't you have something to check from Santa? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, let me see. Show mommy. Okay, now we are at Costco. I'm putting in a couple orders for catering. I'm getting the sandwich platter and the meat and cheese platter. The sandwich platter was actually really good and the meat and cheese was okay, just in my opinion. But here are the prices in case you're interested. You really can't beat these prices, especially because it makes life so simple on the day of the party that they're already made. And here is a little bin that I put together of all the craft supplies that we're gonna be using for tomorrow's party. I love just having everything in one place so that tomorrow when I need to start setting up, it's really easy to find it all. I have the ornament making station, the cookie decorating station, and the Christmas card coloring station. I even made the little signs already so that I can just put them right on the tables. So this is really nifty to have. Also, clear bins are my best friend. And then over here, I have our blankets that we're gonna be using for the holiday movie projector portion of the party. And these are gonna go under the table where all the snacks are. We're gonna have popcorn and candy. So this will be right under that table. When it's time for the holiday movie, we can just easily pull them out. 
I love getting as much organized as I can the day before because it just makes life so much simpler. And now we're gonna start working on the balloon arch. This is gonna take a little bit of time, but I love this electric pump. It really helps it go by faster. I also wanna show you guys a super cool hack for a photo station, instead of hiring a service like a photo booth to come out, which could be $500 to $1,000, we decided to create our own Christmas selfie station. This is great because you just need a ring light, maybe a softbox light, and then people could put their phone right here and take their own photos. It's budget friendly and the pictures came out so good, so I'm really glad we decided to do a selfie station. Honestly, this has been one of the most stress-free events I have ever planned. And I think it's just because I have been preparing little things every day for the past couple weeks. And today is running smoothly and on time. So let's hope that continues into tomorrow. The next morning so today is the big party day i'm going to make some coffee and have some devotional time get out my planner and just have a slow morning last night i was able to blow up all the balloons and really get the base of our balloon arch ready but first let's have our coffee and then we will continue with the party planning All right, I've had about an hour of quiet time and planning, so I'm feeling refreshed and ready to tackle this list. These are all the day of items that I have left over to do. I love making these lists in notes because you can add a little check off area. As soon as you're done with something, just check it off and it moves to the bottom of the list. So here are a bunch of little things that I need to get done this morning. And then after that, I have some specific time stamped items that I need to do. It's gonna be a busy day, but if we stay on track, we could definitely get this done. I'm going to put on my Christmas party playlist that I created to get in the Christmas spirit. So yeah, lots to do, let's get started. Right now we're putting up the balloon arch. I did blow up the balloons yesterday and string them all together. So it's pretty simple for us to just put it up this morning. If you were having a party indoors, you could actually put the balloon arch up the day before, but because it's outside and in the elements, I decided to put it up the day of. And without further ado, I am going to show you guys how the whole Christmas party turned out, walk you through each space. Here is the front of the house. We got a jumper, bounce house. Jetty is inside right now, testing it out. I love how everything came out. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And yeah, let's do a little tour of our first annual Christmas party.
Christmas is coming. The snowflakes will be falling. It's the most wonderful time of year. So hang up your stockings, put the tinsel on the tree, because Christmas is coming, my dear. It's the only time of year the reindeer fly. You can't see them on the sleigh ride across the sky. Gather all your family round, or go out and paint the town. It's the only time of year the whole wide world turns upside down. So baby, light a fire and we'll toast the night away because Christmas is coming our way. I hope you enjoyed today's video, how to host a family-friendly Christmas party. And more than anything, I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. I will see you all in my next video. Do you know Cupid? Send it.